Hello everybody and welcome. My name is Ajahn Kabato and today I'm going to be talking about learning how to love studying and make it meaningful for yourself. But first, let's get ready for the day. In my tote bag, I've got my MacBook, iPad, AirPods, wallet, mask, chargers, and water bottle. Today's outfit is pretty mellow. The top is from a brand called English Bay Sportswear, which I actually got from a vintage store in Vancouver. The pants are from Old Navy, and the jewelry are from Nero Studio, which is a company that promotes Filipino textiles and jewelry. Before showering, I like to shave, and after I shower, I brush my teeth. I've been obsessed with Banana Republic's classic scent lately, so I've been wearing it out in public. I made a quick breakfast which took me less than 9 minutes to make, I made toast with sweet coconut spread, red delicious apples, and 2 scrambled eggs. I also had Earl Grey tea as my beverage. I believe the key to a wonderful day is having a wonderful breakfast, or a good morning workout. And if I can't have one of the two, then my day starts to crumble. I think it's so important to treat yourself in the morning. After cleaning up, I left to take the bus on the way to the cafe. It was a beautiful day out today and Osborne Street here in Winnipeg is one of my favorite spots of the city. We visited this place called the Tea Story Cafe which I had never been to and we considered studying here for some other time, but not for today. Anyways, we got to Small Mercies and this place remains one of my top cafes of the city got my iced chai vanilla latte and was really happy. Now let's talk about studying. In all honesty, studying can be the most draining thing you can do. However, I'm here to tell you that it doesn't have to. You can literally take things that you enjoy and use it as a propeller to help you to study. If you're like me and love to talk to people, then that's what you should do. Meet up with people from your classes and review for one hour and discuss the topics with one another for 30 minutes. Trust me, it can change the way you view the topics and help you to create a better perspective. On the other hand, if you're the type of person who likes to study alone and love to make art, then do it. Symbols can help you make sense of a concept that might otherwise need two to three paragraphs. If you're more inclined with memorizing concepts and terminology, you can also choose to use Quizlet and review each term one by one and take breaks in between. When it comes to studying, I consider myself someone who likes to illustrate concepts, discuss it with others afterwards, and finally review concepts and terminology. This has helped me retain so much information from my past two years of university. Studying doesn't always have to be going on Quizlet and memorizing 200 plus terms and puking them back out during an exam. Studying can be fun and you can learn to appreciate and even love the things you're learning. By incorporating the things that you love into studying, you can create personal meaning into them, which one, helps you remember them more, and two, enjoy your time studying and look forward to learning more. A quote that shed a lot of light for me is that, you should never trust any knowledge that fully satisfies your passion to understand. Listen to that again. Never trust any knowledge that fully satisfies your passion to understand. I learned that from Matt Abrahams, who's a lecturer of Strategic Communication at Stanford Graduate School of Business. Another thing you can do to make studying more enjoyable is listening to music in the background. If you're the kind of person who can multitask, then go right ahead. While I was studying, I was listening to my jazz slash bossa nova playlist on Spotify. You guys should definitely give it a listen and I'll be adding the link on the description. After studying from 10.30 to 2.30, we got ready for some lunch and a little change in scenery. Jaga and I decided to go to this Middle Eastern restaurant slash cafe called Zaytun, which was pretty great. Definitely will be coming back here and they've got outlets pretty much everywhere. I got the beef shawarma and Jaga got the beef poutine. We studied even more from 3 to 7.30 and then we decided to leave and start heading home. We found out that there was a hidden kawaii store underneath the restaurant and it was so cool. They sold all sorts of things and not a whole lot of people know about it. We then got kawaii crepe as a reward for today's work and headed home. I hope you enjoyed today's topic and I hope you learned something from it. I wish you all the best for your exams and have a good rest of your day.
Thank you and remember to always trust the process. Alright, see ya!